Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it's been absolutely forever. But before I start the video, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 10,000 plus subscribers. Like, you guys are just so amazing. Like, thank you so much. Like, I love you guys so much. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I wasn't able to go that much in depth as I wanted to, but I hope it was able to start, you know, to help you guys at the start. And then maybe I can do some, you know, updated tutorials later on how to draw a body from start to finish and all that stuff. And then I could also do a tutorial on how to draw um, male bodies soon, but I don't really draw like guys like that. So, this is just going to be a female body tutorial for right now. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned. Bye. Hey, hello loves. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been absolutely forever since I've last made my last video. But I've been so busy with college and everything. I just wasn't able to keep up with everything. But I'm back and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And let's get started. So, as the title tells, we will be drawing bodies today. And this is going to cover female bodies, specifically because um, I don't usually draw males, if you, as, as you've noticed, because my style fits more for females. Because, you know, it probably wouldn't look right if I had bigger eyes, a smaller nose, and bigger lips on a male character. So, I usually just tend to draw females more. But, when I practice and get better and learn more about draw drawing male anatomy, then we can go back and go over that. So, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so how I learned to draw bodies, I have, I've learned to draw bodies in like multiple um, different ways. And first thing about bodies is that um, a human figure is at least seven to eight heads tall. So like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or seven and a half at least. I hope you guys can see that and and so what I like to do when I first start drawing bodies um, is I start with the head first so I can you know get a good basis I mean cuz you know of course you're gonna start with the head first cuz you don't want to start with the body first cuz then you're, it's you you know you want to make sure everything's proportionate to each other okay so just start out with a circle and then as for the body, um, we're just we're just gonna do a straight um, body for the first example. So I'll just go ahead and just make a straight line. Okay, and the shoulders um, are gonna be a little bit under where the chin would be. And since it's just the circle for the head, if it helps you, go ahead and put the point of where your chin is gonna be. At so you don't make the shoulders too close to the chin so let's just say the chin is going to be here and then this is the neck all right I can already tell that this is not going to match this length but that's okay that's just an example that I was showing you guys so yeah let's just say this is the neck and then for the shoulders just go ahead and make kind of like a curved line a little because you don't want it to be too straight and perfect so like that sorry the video keeps stopping as usual but um yeah for the shoulders I just make little circles at the end right here and then for the torso um this trick really helped me a lot um basically it's kind of like you're making a rib cage so Kind of make this shape for the torso. You see? And it's kind of like it's the form of how ribs would be, but just more in a geometric, a geometric shape type form. And then this will be kind of where, you know, the torso would connect to the bottom half of the body. And then I like to draw just a circle down here to do the hips and other, and the, you know, to start with the hips and legs. 
and when I draw my characters, I exaggerate the body features. So I like to have like, sorry, hold on, let me adjust the camera. I like to make my um. I don't know why I have that in there, but I like to make the waist smaller and the hips just a little bit bigger. Okay, so once you have drawn the bottom half, um, draw your circles for the hips. And if you want, this is how I start doing this, kind of like the skeletal um, outline of the body, I mean of the legs. I don't really do it like this anymore, but I feel like this will be easier for you guys. I did it this way. And then I'm kind of going to show you other ways, like as I like draw on top of it. But this is just one of the ways, and then you can make another ball for the kneecap. For this one, we're going to do the inward le le um, leg look anyways, so because I've already started. Okay, so now we're going to draw the feet. Now, I don't like working with lines. I usually go in and I start working on it um, like uh, the 3D way, but this might be easier for you guys. But now I'm going to show you guys how I would just go straight into just drawing bodies. So, like, for me, I start off, I get the torso, then I start drawing in the little boobies right here. And, there, and when you draw, like, breasts, make sure it's not a circle. It's, you know, real breasts are going to have, like, more of a teardrop look. So it's going to go downward like this, like that. And then I start to draw the waist, just like that. And usually my hips will be a little bit higher, just like that. You guys see? And go ahead and bring those hips out and then about right here where the uh, I think it was this the midriff section what do you call this area but where I usually would make the line for where the um, legs divide about right there and then when I'm drawing the thighs I just go ahead and start making this shape So kind of think of all the body parts as shapes. So that's like, this is like the shape for the thigh that I'm making right now, you see? And I do that on the other side as well. And I'm just making circular motions, just long oval, oval type shape or whatnot. Okay. And I'm not following these guidelines as you can tell because the knees are going to be a little bit higher now since I've made the thighs stop about right here. So I'm going to erase those guidelines right there. I should have just started it off with how I did it instead of like trying to do it like the easy way because I don't do it that way because for some that doesn't work for me as well. Okay, so next um, the kneecap will be around this area. And then I would start drawing the calves. And kind of make a smaller version of the thigh shape that she made for the calves. same for the other leg alrighty and then I'm gonna go back up here and draw the arms and I will usually do a bigger circle to start off with the arms but if you can see what that bolt a bolt shape is doing it's kind of giving that curve and shape to the arm Okay, and there you have it for that, 
And there you have it for that. And then you can go ahead and draw the hands in. And I'm just drawing a basic, basic hands. Kind of like starting out with the triangular shape as the base of the hand. Always look at references of hands. Look in the mirror of your hand. And just like in my hand video, use like the geometric shapes at first to give you the outline of the hands if you have trouble drawing smaller hands. All right, and then there's the neck here. Now this body looks really stiff, but that's okay because I'm just teaching you guys the basics. And I don't draw bodies a lot, and I don't draw them as often and enough as I should. And I haven't been drawing in a while. And then the feet. I have such trouble drawing forward, like feet going, you know, in front. But I kind of draw it out like this. And then you can add in those details later, like the toes. And then you can draw your face in. I'm not going to draw the face because this is just a tutorial on the bodies. But, but this is the basic way that I draw bodies. So I hope that this was able to help you guys. And oh, um, before I go, I'm going to show you guys how to do one pose from reference. Alrighty, so... Okay, so I went ahead and I started drawing the head in so you can get a basic idea of how this head would be proportional to the body. So, um, because that circle was definitely not going to be, you know, as big as it was, as it was originally. Because sometimes you have to tweak things, you know, not everything is going to be perfect in the start, but that's why you sketch everything out and, yeah, everything, everything is, you know, able to get better. Stuff. Sorry about that. The strap of the camera got in the way. But, um, hold on one second. I'm having camera issues, you guys. Like, it's a constant struggle, like, honestly. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, I hope this part of the video helped you guys. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is how I do poses from reference. And what I like to do is, like, start with these two basic shapes triangle and a circle. And then basically it's kind of like we're twisting the forms of it and I learned this technique from Paris Christou and um, he's from Toonbox Studios by the way, if, I don't know if I told you guys about him but I'm pretty sure I did, yeah I did. And so um, basically for, okay so the first thing you want to look at when you look at this is look at the um, S figure shape that the body is making. So. Okay, so basically what you want to do is make an S shape. And I don't usually do this, I usually just go ahead and start out with the shapes. But that's just something that can help you start out with the form of it. Just looking at how the figure is positioned and following that shape and making a gesture line to it. So when I say um, using a triangle and circle, basically what you're going to do is you're going to look at the torso first. That's what I normally do is take the torso, even though I said that I draw the head first. But I'm going to take the torso first and then we're going to twist it to the way that she is positioned. And this looks really weird right now, but it'll come all together at the end. And then I go ahead and make that circle like I normally do and then I make the bottom circle for this part. And it all comes with just practicing different poses every day. There's this website that where you can practice different poses that I'll put in the link below at the end of the video. So you guys can practice too. And basically just go along with where the body is flowing. Sorry, the video cut off again, but basically yeah, just following along with the shape of the body. And then what I said about the thighs too, just look here and you'll see how you can like make a shape. I don't have my pen because I left it at the dorm, but um, if I can, I'm just going to make kind of like guidelines to show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take this pen and then I'm going to make that triangle shape that I was talking about. You see that? 
and then this is where that circle would be and then for the thighs just like the shape that I was making in the previous image so just basically breaking it down like don't look at the details and everything yet just break it down into these basic shapes and that will really help you and so I'm gonna start drawing the thigh and then when something is coming towards you just make a circle for it first and then start building towards that and then we're gonna go ahead and draw the calf that is crossing over the leg and then draw the other leg on the other side okay and then put the breast in place too so it'll start looking more like a body and then after you know you've gotten basically all those basic shapes in, that's when you can put all the details in. And for the arm, it's kind of going in that curve motion. Kind of make sure the arm isn't too long or too And then continue just making those basic shapes. Like just ask yourself what does this part of the body, like what, what shape is it making? And then that'll really help you put together the pieces and then you can go back in and fix those small mistakes that may have been made and I'm just doing a quick little thing just so you guys can get an idea of how to go about drawing the body especially when it comes from reference it's all about looking for those geometric shapes in a large amount of detail. I'll make the head more proportional and then the neck was coming over here. Shoulder was a little bit over here. Just, you know, fixing those little minor details. This is kind of a little bit of an awkward pose that she's in, so it looks a little bit weird right now. And then her hand is about over here. She said that I'm going to go ahead and do her feet. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see better. So I can show you guys how I go about doing the feet. So I kind of start out with the ball of the foot. That's what you want to start out with. And then since she has a shoe on, I guess I don't really have to do that, but I'm gonna just show you guys how the foot would look without the shoe. And basically put the arch in the foot and look at see like what shapes put together can make the shape of the foot all together. do the same for the one that goes under it so yep that is how I draw poses from reference it's not perfect because I was rushing because my camera is acting up lately and I have to get it fixed but yep I'm going to show you guys what it looks like all together now. So, yep, that is how I did that. And I'm going to go ahead and erase that. So going in to fix little details and yep that is how I draw the
the body from reference and from scratch so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was able to help you guys next time I hope to put together a better um, video for this um, something a little bit more detailed and put more time into it so let me just finish this so it was looking a little weird there the arm and this just looks weird because her pose is weird this arm over here just bent this way it looks just weird like that because that is how her pose is Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I was able to help you guys and thank you guys so much for watching and um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time so God bless.